guys, Hayden here bringing you another tutorial, and uh, this tutorial will be on another render of a style, you could say. Um, this render is going to be type of a, kind of, of a rocky style, uh, so there's going to be lots of rocks involved, broken up things, all sorts of things like that. So I'm just going to use my logo with the Lightroom you could download in one of the Friday giveaways. So let's get started. So I'm just... For Rocky Render, um, it's always important to have grungy materials in there because you don't want to have the smooth, like, silver in there. You always want to have, like, a type of a rock grunge in there so that it makes it look like it's an actual rock. And when you're going into Photoshop, it's also having, like, a rock and then using a couple other things that will make it look a lot nicer. So now um, I'm just going to put, uh, once you select your materials that you're going to use, decide on uh, a main material that you're going to use primarily like it's the main material so then uh, what we're, what we're going to do is I'm just going to make this look a little bit like more broken up so um, the way I made my logo is I made it where I could edit both the circles and the Z and stuff so I'm just going to kind of rotate my circle down to make it look like it's kind of broken uh, so something like that and then I'm gonna rotate this one just down a little bit, not too much, just to make it look like uh, the circle is kind of broken. So like, kind of like an aged effect, you could say. So I'll just do that, quickly render this out. See what this looks like. But also, um, for uh, rocky type renders, it's also important to have a secondary Material which will usually be like a gr uh, grunge or not a grunge, but like a, a lava or like a type of color that you could use. So I'm um, actually I don't like this circle being rotated, so I'm just gonna kind of do that there. So now what we're gonna do next is uh, we're going to duplicate this our our logo, and then just I'm gonna go. Uh, uh, Nah, never mind. Well, actually, we're going to duplicate it, though, and then we're going to go to Nitro Blast. Uh, most Rocky renders use Nitro Blast, so. Um, and we're going to make the pieces 150. And then quality on high, and you don't mess with anything else. Just click Fracture. And then if you look down to your bottom left, you're going to notice it's breaking everything up. Down here has the percent. And once it breaks up, uh, you're going to notice this right here. But it's probably going to be like this. So, what this means is, blue stands for outer materials, so like, as you can see, you don't see any yellow, but you see blue, which means the blue is like the outer shell, and then yellow is the inner shell. So, what we're going to do with that is we're going to put our main material on for the blue, and then cubic seamless, and then we're going to get our lava material. And with this material, we're going to put this one on the yellow for the inner layer, so like this. Cubic, seamless, and then go MoGraph, Fracture, and then open uh, this thing up, and then select all the pieces. If you if you want to quickly instead of just indivi individually doing it, select the very bottom piece, and then uh, scroll up, hold Shift, and then select the top piece, and then you're gonna notice these green red lines there. And uh, what this is is that's all the pieces there. So then once you have all your pieces highlighted, you're just gonna click drag it right into the fracture and then you could delete this for uh, organization and then click this fracture and then go MoGraph effector and then random and as you can see it's gonna break everything up it's gonna look you could do some cool things with this but what we're gonna do is if you go to uh, effector uh, you turn down the strength a little bit to make it like you can edit how much pieces how well, how like spread apart it is and stuff, how blown up it is. So we're just gonna kind of do that. Just deselect this one really fast. Kind of do that, and then we're gonna quickly render this out to see what it looks like. It's always important to render it out while you're making the renders in case you make a mistake on something or you don't like the way something looks. It's always good to break it up or not break it up, but like check it out before you finalize it. So as of now, it looks pretty good. I'm liking it, I'm liking the way it looks. So, yep, we're gonna keep that. 
next our next step is messing with the circles so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna duplicate this one and I'm going to click it go caps and I'm gonna make it cap and then cap over here and then in gons cut your angle goals. and then what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go to this uh, flower looking thing out of cubes and we're gonna go to Adam array now as you have know if you've seen any of my other banners I use this effect a lot it's a really cool effect it's very nice looking so I'm just gonna change everything to one and then I'm just going to uh, deselect this thing this piece right here and as you can see, it's going to make this cool looking uh, cage effect. So what we're going to do with this is uh, we're going to put this on there. So then with that, now it's going to make this cool looking uh, cage effect circle. But I am going to keep this part the same. But I'm actually going to uh, Nitro Blast this part. So control, just duplicate. Everything you Nitro Blast, it's always good to duplicate it in case you make a mistake. So then you could just delete the duplicated one, you'll have your original one. Uh, I usually do that for when I do effects, just duplicate the uh, whatever you're, you're going to use the effect on. So for these little circles, I think I'm just going to make it 200, and then high quality, and then fracture. I'm just going to start breaking down here. Um, fun little tip. The higher the pieces, so like let's say for example I set 500 pieces, that's how uh, the smaller the pieces are going to be, but if I set like 10 pieces, the pieces are going to be massive. So you could take advantage of that if you wanted to. Um, but what we're going to do here is we're going to make the same thing that we did with this middle Z. So we're just going to cubic seamless and then for the outer cubic seamless and then MoGraph. And then open this up the same way as before. And then uh, just drag all these pieces into the fracture. Now once you have done that, you're just going to go click it, MoGraph, Effector, and then Random. So it's going to break everything up. And what we're going to do now is just going to kind of do that to make it kind of look a little bit like that. So just going to quickly render this out again and see what it looks like. Um... So, yeah, Grunge renders are pretty common, but a lot of people don't really know how to do them. Like, beginners and stuff, they, they like, they get, they try and get the concept, but they kind of just, like, mess it up. So, that's why I'm making this tutorial on uh, how you can make a, a good-looking Grunge render. So, I like the way that looks. Actually, I'm going to... Also, if you don't want to render the whole thing out, if you highlight this, hold click and then render uh, region and then you're gonna no notice this little gray thing uh, if you hold and then you could drag that that means it's only gonna render this piece so for example as you can see here it's only rendering the parts that I s chose it to render so I'm liking the way that looks so far it's looking good and what we're gonna do next is uh, hmm, we're going to Duplicate. We're gonna duplicate all of three of these. Oh, wait, hold on. Uh, check these. We're gonna duplicate all three of these, and we're gonna nitro blast it. The reason why we're doing all three of these is because uh, we're gonna make a nice looking background of the Z, you could say. <laughs> um, so we're just gonna set this to like 300 pieces fracture this uh, this one might take a second due to the fact that I am fracturing a lot of pieces 300 of each of these so that's 900 pieces total so once you have done this wait oh these have to be selected so let me just nitro blast these really fast uh, 300 high. so I guess I just figured out if uh, if you have a de if your uh, extrude nerves or whatever is deselected, you can't nitro blast it. So you always gotta have it selected apparently. Uh, so we're just gonna break this up. Take a second. There we go. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna do the same thing as usual. We're gonna have our secondary color for the yellow and then our main color as the blue. 
that's why I was saying it's good to have a secondary color, which, which would be a lava type thing. Something like that to make there be color in the render. Ugh. So once you do that, go MoGraph, Fracture, same way. But instead of just dragging this one piece or one section of pieces, we're going to drag all these sections of pieces into the Fracture. Like so. Uh, there. Mm. Quickly do this. Uh, Nitro Blast can be time consuming if you use it a lot because dr dry, scrolling all the way down, selecting all the pieces, dragging into the fracture, depending on how big your logo is, can be time consuming if you have a lot of. Uh, extreme nerves so once you have everything there uh, MoGraph effector random and as you can see it made a huge thing here which is good because that's what we intended for it to look like so we're just gonna kinda drag this behind the logo so like that what that is and that's gonna make it look a lot nicer actually I might bring it up a little bit the strength that so if I I'm actually gonna check this part out see how noticeable it is uh, wait a second so yeah usually these types of renders can take a while to render out due to the fact that you're using nitroblast a lot and all it nitroblast generates all these little little pieces so it can be difficult sometimes for it to uh Ooh, that looks nice for it to um, render it all so just heads up so once you have done that uh, I think our next step would be to add a thing to make the render kind of blend in with the uh, banner a little bit more so I'm just gonna go onto my add-ons and I'm gonna get a mmm I'm gonna get a chain with this chain, I'm just going to shrink it down a little bit to make it fit the render a little bit because right now it's massive. Uh, it's kind of there. If you if you want the download link, just uh, leave it leave it in the comments down below and I can uh, put the download link for all these materials and this chain all down below. So, there you go. So, uh, a little bit big I'm just gonna kind of shrink it down just a little bit and what we're gonna do is we're going to okay sweet so we're gonna kind of make it look like the logo is uh hanging from these chains like so kind of like the chains are holding up the uh, logo so something like this probably look good well, actually Drag it down a little. There. Okay. And then we're just going to duplicate it. Sorry. There we go. There. That looks nice. So. Now that you've done that, we obviously need to add our uh, materials, so I'm probably going to use uh, this, our main material here, and to add uh, the materials to this chain, you just kind of want to put the material over the torus, and then cubic, seamless for HD looking materials, and then same for this duplicated one here, so now as you can see, these uh, chains are materialized, so I'm just going to... Render it out, see what it looks like on the chain, the material. Uh, it should look pretty good. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Sweet. So, now that we've done that, um, let's see if there's anything else. Uh, this this part's optional. It, it'll just help uh, make the banner blend in a little bit more, make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, get a platonic. And then, what you want to do with this is you want to go atom array and then just drag this platonic into the atom array and then if you didn't know how to do that that's how people make these uh 
caged looking things. So you want to set everything to one, and then what you want to do is you want to set the material to litem or latem. And you're just gonna gonna drag it onto that. And then what we're gonna do next is uh, select something that you would like to be in there. So I'm probably gonna use a uh, a sphere. That's really up to you. You could use another platon platonic if you wanted to put it in there. It'd still look pretty cool. So you just want to kind of shrink this down a little bit, so like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're going to put this in there again, like so. And then we're just gonna shrink it down. Uh, so something not that small, but something like this. That would that's a good size for this uh, render. So we're just gonna kind of randomize it a little bit. So we're gonna put one right there. Duplicate it, put one down here, rotate it a little bit so it's a bit more randomized, and then we're going to do it again, uh, let's see, put this one, put this one over here, like that, uh, uh, that's not randomized, and then we'll do one more. Uh, which will be right here. Rotate a little bit. It's like, like that. There we go. So this is how you make this render. Um, if you copy this, uh, it's totally fine. Just, uh, you know, it's fine. Um, but this, this is how you make grungy, rocky looking renders. Um, a lot of people really kind of make these uh, renders wrong. Well, I wouldn't say wrong, but they like, they poorly make them, you could say, but this is a decent way of how you can make one. Um, it's pretty simple, just the only problem with these types of renders is the render times are gonna be pretty long due to the fact that there's so many nitroblasted things, like I nitroblasted the Z, the circle, and then like 900 little pieces for the background, so. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys. Um, this one was a little bit longer, so if you're still here watching here, hope you enjoyed the tutorial, guys. If you want to stay up to date with us, follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and soon our Facebook. And if you want to buy anything to support us a little bit more, we sell uh, clothes. You could buy sweatshirts, shirts, stuff like that. So um, here, uh, the final image of this will be in the description down below if you want to see it. So uh, peace, guys.